What's up, Calliopes? What it do? I don't ever want none of the shit he was smoking. <laughs> He's all the way fucked up. Raheem, how many times you gonna spit on a microphone? Oh. It smell like baby milk on this microphone. <laughs> Had to be, ain't that ironic? Only babies can get away with wearing shit that tight. Oh. I can read your driver's license number from your fucking pants. Oh. Nah, I'm gonna get off this little guy. Um, how y'all doing? Good. Good? I said, how y'all doing? Good. Good. I'm the token nigga. <laughs> As always, y'all remember me. You know how we gonna get it started. Black people, I want y'all to say token. White people, I want y'all to say nigga. <laughs> y'all got it? Ready? Black people. Token. White people. Yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, now we got that all out the way. Fuck it. Let's get it popping. Shout out to all the gang members in the house. Any gangsters in here? Good. Now we can talk about them since they ass ain't in here. <laughs> It's just not the same anymore. I remember when gangbanging was like a way of life or sometimes the only way of life. It's like you either gangbang or you don't make it out. Now that shit is just like getting up in the morning and putting clothes on your back. It's like apparel and shit. And you girls, y'all the one made it like that. Y'all always want a tough guy and shit. But a few things that made me realize that gangbanging wasn't the same. No more. I'm going to bring y'all into my world some things that had happened to me and shit that I experienced. So I'm at the club. And there's this dude, he got on some skinny jeans, probably about as tight as Raheem's. <laughs> and he has a blue rag hanging out of his left back pocket. And he's popping it low and shit. And all I hear him say is, only on the left side, yeah, that's the crip side. <laughs> only on the left side, yeah, that's the crip side. So I'm looking like, damn, yeah, gangbanging can't be the same anymore if that's what the crips is doing. <laughs> so, strike two. That was, my, that was only strike one, just strike two. I'm at the bar. I work hard. I like to go get a drink at the bar, you know, at the end of the week and kind of catch up on some sports center or whatever the case may be. So, uh, I'm at the bar. I'm having a drink and I overhear these two dudes, the biggest buff dudes wearing the most red I've ever seen in my life. And I hear them talk to each other. The big dude tells the little dude, he said, hey, blood, you can come by the spot and braid my hair later on. <laughs> and the little dude is like, Hey, B, you know, I got the other dude that I met earlier. I got to do his hair. He said, he's going to give me $25. And the buff dude said, but I'm a cook, though. And he's like, okay, I might have to make that happen. So I'm like, oh, shit. What is gangbanging coming to? Last straw strike three. This is for me right here. It took me all the way out. So I'm rolling down the street. Roll up on this car. It's a low rider. Say Lost Locos in the back. I look a little bit further. I see a nice little brown head bobbing his head around. So I roll up. And all I hear is, is I see this, I see this essay, gangstered out, looks on his face. He's singing, my boyfriend's back and you're gonna be in trouble. Hey, uh, hey, uh, my boyfriend's back. And I'm looking like, what in the fuck has gangbanging come to? Is this for real? And it's like fucked up because I'm like, I, do I really want this motherfucker to catch me? Looking at him, seeing him doing this shit, I don't know if he's going to want to come and, you know, do some things with me or he's going to kill me or whatever the hell going on. But is it more awkward for when you catch a motherfucker in their car doing some shit that you be doing anyway? Like, you pull up and the motherfucker's singing and shit and you look. What the fuck do you do? Do you just keep looking at them into as, as awkward for them as it is for your ass that you got caught? Like, you always do the same shit. Why is all the shit that we do nasty when somebody else does the shit you know what i mean roll up somebody in the car they're digging in their nose like this nigga is nasty he's digging in his nose knowing damn well you dig in your nose too you know what i mean the worst is like when you ride in the car and you got a friend with you and they're digging in their nose in your car and the windows is up like you look at him what the fuck you about to do with that shit you don't want to ask him but you're like oh shit Bro, then you roll his window down for him. Like, blow that shit. And roll that. <laughs> roll that shit into a ball and flick that motherfucker up out the window. <laughs> then you fart and shit. Like, ugh. I think you just farted too. That shit was silent. I smelled that shit. Don't act like you don't fucking do that shit. You fart? Do I, do I fart? Do you fart? I, I yeah. Bush. What? Like in the car? Nah, fuck it. You fart, motherfucker. She farts right next to your ass. You motherfuckers in there. Fucking two farting whistles in a motherfucking car. Fucking making beats and shit. Huh? Synchronized? Yeah, synchronized farting. 
Nasty <laughs> bastard, you. Now, I'm going to get out of here. My name is Money Mike Lou. Like me on Facebook, Mike Mike 2004. Holla at me.